Hey guys, you're in the Beat Sessions, your place for all things music, where we do the listening for you. Today I'm taking you to the motherland to, che to check out Synth Heavy Psych Rockers, Temples, fourth studio album, Exotico. But first, please smash that subscribe button to really make sure you hit it. Don't break it, but let's make this official. This band has a cool story. It's kind of like a, a Bieber origin story. Um, back in 2012, singer and guitarist James Bagshaw. Could you get a more British name than that? James Bagshaw. Anyway, Bagshaw and bassist Tom Walmsley. Wait, that's pretty pretty too. They put together some songs on YouTube in 2012, four tracks that would get the attention of Heavenly Recordings founder Jeff Barrett. Then they grabbed drummer Samuel Lloyd Toms and keyboardist Adam Smith so they could play as a live band. They worked their way into some festivals, opening for bands like Kasabian, and eventually came out with their first self-produced album, sun structures in february of 2014 they got their american break performing on jimmy fallon and ellen degeneres that summer well it was in september but it was you know basically the summer one other lineup pickup though to mention uh drummer samuel toms left the band in 2018 to work on a solo project and join a band called fat white family which i love that name and uh, Tom's was replaced by Renz Odink. But that's what he said. In 2019 interview, Bagshaw said that Tom's was asked to leave the band because it just wasn't working out. And Bagshaw said it wasn't that big a deal because Tom's really wasn't a part of the writing process anyway. So he was just kind of coming and sitting in for those live, live performances. But anyway, four years after that interview... We have Exotico. I've listened to Temples for a couple of years now, and they seem to stick with what works. Vocal effects with a heavy reverb sound, big wavy synth with a similar reverb sound, relatively clean sounding guitars, and drums that sound like they come from a drum machine. The band has a great sound, very melodic, even sometimes what I might call sing-songy. If you could compare them to a band, you might say they sound a bit like Tame Impala, but with more tempo, I would say. They have a little more, more of a straightforward drive. Exotico is 16 tracks and 59 minutes long, and I'm not going to break it down track by track because I don't see a lot of value in that on this album, but I will tell you what works. We're going to start with the opener, though. The opener is, is called Liquid Air. It's a grinding, groover track. It feels like new age classic rock. We have some great stops and mode changes. The synth really makes this track. I really like the breakdown at the end. It opens up with this fat, spacey sound that just had me wanting more. So I would say Temples has a formula, and it's a great one. And even though I feel like they can be limited on dynamics a bit, their formula really works, and I want to keep listening. So this is one case where I don't need the ultra dynamics. I like what they have going on. Track 13, we're going to skip ahead, is uh, it's called Time is a Light, and I like it for how it stands out on this album. It's a really cool beat, and the melody carrying this one is killer and unexpected. It's a cool song. Check it out. They do a great job with effects, combining simple beats with at times complicated melodies. Stops, crescendos, quieting it down, getting loud, harmonization. This band has a lot in their war chest. So much, really. Listening to them, I get the feeling that this band has a lot of room to grow. Not because I think they're immature, but... I can feel the immense talent here, and I can see them doing great things. As bands go, Temples is still relatively young and finding themselves, in my opinion anyway. And I think they're doing a great job doing it. 
I really look, like temples and look forward to their future work. I definitely recommend them to fellow music heads and would describe it as really fun listen. You know, this is a, a group that started off on YouTube with two guys. And I think that that is really cool. And and for that, you know, that's a cool a cool way for a band to start. And it gives a lot of hope to, to some new musicians but I want you to I want you to keep listening to us, guys, and I want you to hit that that subscribe button, uh, tap in on that. You're in the beat sessions. I'm Keith Grevenitz. Um, also, we wanted to, wanted to touch base on um, we're taking a, a little break on the live show. If you if you're still tuning in, um, and we're going to get that right, and when we come back, it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be Mitch, Mary Beth, and I, and um, I hope you guys tune in. We usually do that on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Uh, I hope to see you there. And when you when you come in, guys, and when you're when you're in the reviews or in our uh, live show, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't be shy. You know, give us a comment, give us a like, and as always, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. I'm Keith Grevenitz with the Beat Sessions.